Hello Stampers! I'm Dina Lanzendorf at Inkin' with Dink and welcome to my video. This week on my videos I have had so much fun playing with the stamp set So Man Season and the coordinating Build a Snowman Punch. They are so much fun um, and they just make the cutest cards. On Tuesday I made a video making this card showing you how to do just the different colors um, and playing with the snowman. Yesterday, um, for my Facebook Live, I made a really cute framed um, picture. And then today, I'm going to be making this super cute card right here. As you can tell, I really got the um, urge to make Christmas cards in non-traditional colors this year. And that's fine. They are super fun and they really brighten people's day. So it is great. All right, so if you're ready, we're going to go ahead and get started making this card right here. I love the pink and the black together. I think they're super pretty. All right, so I'm going to start off with a piece of Melon Mambo cardstock that measures eight and a half by five and a half. I'm just going to take it. I'm going to fold it in half. Be sure and use my bone folder so it's nice and crisp like that. Okay. My next layer is going to be a piece of basic black, and this one measures five and a quarter by four. And since I'm not doing anything to this layer, I'm going to go ahead and adhere it down to my card front. Just like that. All right. Then my whisper white layer is five inches by three and three fourths, and this is the one that I'm going to stamp on. So to start off with, I want to stamp my focal point, which is my greeting right in the middle of my card. So I'm going to use Melon Mambo, so it coordinates with my card base. And I'm going to use the stamp from the set that just says Merry Christmas. I'm going to ink it up, center it right in the middle, just like that. Okay, now I'm done with my Melon Mambo. Now I am ready to start stamping my snowmen. Now there are three different snowman images in this stamp set. One is just as cute as the other. So I'm going to be using all three of them and I'm just gonna pick one and start. So I'm gonna ink him up in the basic black and I'm just gonna start right here in the very middle of the bottom, just like that, okay? Then I'm gonna pick my next one and we'll do it in a little different order than the other one. Just gonna pick the next one here and I'm going to stamp it kind of at an angle so that it looks like it's going to go around the card. So the next one is this cute little snowman. We're going to put him right there. And I'm just trying to be careful so that my images don't overlap. Then I'm ready to go back to this one. And I move him down just a little because I want to stamp my hat image cut him out and put him on so I just need to be sure I've got room for it. So this one was next. And then my little one here. And then we'll go ahead and do this one next. I didn't do him three on the last one. Hmm, do I want to do that or do I want to do this one? See, it's just kind of fun. Just play with it. There's no right or wrong way to do it. But he is going to fit just perfect in that space right like that. So there you go. That is how you go around and just do kind of like a kaleidoscope of your snowman. So we want to embellish this a little bit um, so it's not quite so drab. So what I want to do is I want to do a couple of the hats. So I'm just going to take a piece of scrap, Whisper White, and I'm going to stamp my hats on them. Now, since I'm going to use the punch to punch it out, I want to be sure and make it easier for myself. So when I am ready to put my cardstock in, the hat image is kind of tilted and that way. See how that is? Kind of tilted and that way. So that's how I want to stamp it on this side of my hat or of my paper. So I'm going to stamp one there and I'm going to stamp one there because I've got two of these snowmen that need hats. This way when I'm ready to punch them out, 
It is super easy to not waste a ton of cardstock and to be able to um, easily line it up so that it punches out nicely. Just like that. All right, now I can color. So I just have some of my Stampin' Right markers, okay? I'm going to use the, which one is this? This is Shaded Spruce. I'm gonna do the leaves on the holly on the hats. That one there. And one there. I'm gonna use my Real Red to do the berries on the holly. And then I want to make the bands, okay, coordinate with the card. So I'm gonna do them in the Melon Mambo. That end is about to dry, so let's do this end. All right, now I wanna color my snowman scarfs that are on here, okay? So I'm just gonna pick this snowman that has the hat and the scarf, and I'm just gonna go through and every other block, which is a little bigger, I'm going to do in the Melon Mambo. We'll do the same on this one. And the same on this one. And I forgot to do this part right here on this one. All right, there we go. Now I want to color my snowman nose. So I'm using my dark pumpkin pie because every snowman image in here has a nose for you to color, which makes them super fun. Just like that. Okay, now we are ready to go ahead and put this on our card front. So we're just going to put our adhesive on the back here. Make sure our card is opening the right way. How many times have we put the fronts on our cards and had them upside down? Now for my hats, I want to make them pop a bit, so I'm just going to put a mini Stampin' Dimensional on the back of both of them. Take the backings off. Stick that one there at an angle. Come around. We'll put this one this way at an angle. And there we go. Isn't that super cute? Super fun card. It's just so happy with all the snowmen on it. What I might even do is go through and do, you know what? I think I will because I've got them right here. I'm going to use some of my adhesive backed snowflakes because I think that is just going to add a little pop to my cards. So I'm gonna go through, and I don't wanna use that, let's use this. Use our Take Your Pick tool. Okay, and let's pick them up and put them down everywhere where there is a snowflake image. So the one snowman has three on there. So very cute. Let's do it to this card too, as long as we're doing it, because that turned out cute. Now that I have discovered how super easy it is to get these all adhesive back things off with the rubber part of the take your pick tool, it makes all of this so much easier and faster. 
to do that way. So there you go. So super cute. It's got a little bit of shimmer on it because of the sequins. Um, just a fun thing to do. So um, I do want to tell you if you love the snowman set, the stamp set and the punch, I am featuring these in my club right now. So my club is open for another few days. And if you are interested in my online club, you get the supplies to make six different projects. So there are these five cards, and then we're also going to be doing this super cute little snowman box. The cost of the club is $35, and with that you get all the supplies for the six projects, but you will also get a package of the um, snowflake adhesive back snowflakes. Okay, which are super fun to play with. You will get a combo pack of the pumpkin pie blends, which are perfect for coloring snowman noses. And you will also get half a package of the clear tiny treat boxes, which is what we use on this one right here. Okay, um, and so you'll get eight of them. So if you are interested in any of that, contact me. If you just want to place your order on your own, be sure and go to dinalstamps.stampinup.net. Be sure and use the November host code when you are placing your order. If your order comes to at least $30, you will get my club kit for the month. Not my club kit, but my card kit for the month. My card kit makes these three cards. You will get supplies to make two of each of them. This one here is a gift card holder. Super cute. I did a Facebook Live on Monday, um, and that is on my Ink and with Dink business page on Facebook. If you, um, When you get your card kit, you will be able to go back and look at the Facebook Live to see exactly how to put it together. So thank you so much for joining me today. Thanks for watching my video, and I'll catch you next time.